You know, most men seem to be pretty useless with women. Strange this, isn't it? But like, why is it that only very few men get all the hot girls? <laughs> I mean, it's not strange because it's, it's a biological hierarchy. So women are obviously going to pick tall, strong, handsome, rich, wealthy, in good shape. They're going to pick that, right? In general, they're going to pick that. There are obviously occasions where they pick the little geeky dude or, you know, something that's just a bit different that takes their liking. Oh, a guy with a dad bod. You know, there's going to be those like anomalies that they're going to occasionally pick. Oh, he's cute. He's funny. He makes me laugh. But I'll tell you what, when a handsome dude walks by while she's sitting with that guy and if that guy is ripped, wealthy, sick car, nice watch, whatever, got style, nice hair, you know the deal. She's going to be like, damn. Not saying she's going to cheat, just saying that she is going to be attracted to the other guy that walks past and looks like that, right? So most guys are useless with women. It's quite mad, actually, and you see it everywhere. And luckily, I wasn't one of these kids growing up um, that, that was bad with girls. I guess I was lucky enough growing up to know some of the basics of... So let me give you the basics. So looks do matter, okay? Looks do matter. I didn't have this body when I was, when I was younger. I'm a lot more ripped, a lot more in shape, got a lot more style now, got the money. And so you develop these things as you get older. That's why they say men, as they get older, actually find it easier to get with beautiful women. When you're young, you're dumb, you're stupid, you don't really know what you're doing, you're inexperienced, you're not really that cool, let's be honest. You haven't had enough life experiences, you haven't spoken to enough girls, you haven't been through enough girls. And for some of the guys that end up commenting on my videos, you know, I can just tell, it's like, this guy hasn't got a bloody clue. You know, he, 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 doesn't, he hasn't got with the amount of girls I've got with. He hasn't made the money I've got with. It's very unlikely, because to be in the top 1% where I sit, it's very unlikely that you're gonna be sitting up here. But you might be in the top 10, top 20%, and that's great. That's what we're after. We're after getting you in the top 10%. So, you know, the reason why I, I kind of had it good when I was growing up is because girls fancied me at school. Um, I was a half decent looking kid. I'm not saying I'm Brad Pitt. I'm not saying I'm an eight, nine out of 10 looking guy. You know, quite an average, slightly above average, better looking guy. Maybe I was like a seven out of 10 at school, you know? And, and so, cause I looked after myself and the kind of, had a bit of a bad boy attitude at school. I'll be honest, I was a bit of a rebel. That worked in my favor because girls seem to like that bad boy attitude as you're growing up. You know, the kid who was a rebel, never gave a shit, you know, was just cool, hanging around, was always dressed quite cool. I wasn't like the geeky kid at school. So the girls seem to like that. It's really weird, right? Because like that should be, you know, that's not honorable. That's not, that's not nice. Like that guy's probably a dick. And not to say I was a dick back then, but that just seemed to work. And it still does work. That's the crazy thing. Even now, no matter what age of woman I speak to, that bad boy behavior still works to this day because it's like the you don't really give a shit attitude and that and it's just like oh i don't care whatever like it's all good i get girls i'm cool enough i don't need to really stick it on you and, and girls seem to like that rather than the guy who's like a bit desperate who cares so much girls like the guy who's not even that interested in them it's a really weird dynamic so anyway, these are just some of the things that guys need to learn about dating. And most men in today's world are terrible at, at, at dating. Terrible at game, terrible at flirting. Then they sit there, some keyboard warriors on TikTok and on YouTube and commenting on people like my videos and, you know, and just keyboard warrying hate on, on our videos. Red pill guys like myself, like Hamza, like Andrew Tate, like whoever else, you know, that's, that's trying to put out some advice and is trying to help you because, hey, we've got there. You know, I'm hanging out with the big boys already. Last week I was with Rob Lipset. He's a big UK fitness influencer. Met him here in Miami, invited him to a private party while I was DJing. We had a sick time. I wish I caught more content. I actually got some of that content on my Instagram. Um, but yeah, like I'm hanging with these dudes and I'm around them all the time. And I'm like, wow, sick. I got into this circle. I got into like that top 1% like of men who are cleaning up globally. So that was nice. And so we are the ones that you know, we're not out there trying to be arrogant about it. Like, we have to be slightly arrogant so that you listen to us. We have to say, look, I've slept with X number of women. You know, like, 
slept with 100 plus girls. Like, do I really need to sit here and like give exact numbers? I literally don't want girls that I love to go on these videos and find out the exact number. It's, it's slept with hundreds, done, that's it. That's way more than most of you, way more than any average guy for sure, and way more than any random dude commenting on my videos, trying to drop any sort of hate or commenting on anyone else's videos, dropping some hate. Unless you're an NBA superstar and you're sleeping with hundreds of girls, maybe you've slept with a thousand girls, because you're literally a superstar and everyone knows you. Those are the men that really clean up with the high, 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 high level status. So those guys at those level are like, like nine out of 10, 10 out of 10 type levels of man, you know, cause he's got status, he's got height, that basketball player's tall, well-known, good looking, bang, that guy hits it all, you know? So he's nine or 10 out of 10 type levels. Then you've got like the seven and eight levels, which are the, the likes of myself, the likes of Rob Lipset, the likes of guys who have a following on Instagram, following on YouTube, following wherever it might be. By the way, guys, most of my following is on Instagram. I've got like about 80,000 plus followers on my IG. And that's really where I've done most of the posting for five years. I've just recently started posting again on YouTube because I want to pick it up and, and help more men out, really, and help more people out, whether you're a guy or a girl. Most of my followers and subscribers are going to be male, to be completely honest. But anyway, most men, terrible with women. Terrible with women. It's just mad, man. Small proportion of men are cleaning up and the rest of them, whew, I don't know what you're doing, not having sex, sitting at home playing video games, masturbating a lot, jeez, that is like some weird, that's weird, that's weird, imagine some like random kid just like playing video games and masturbating four times a day to porn, that is, that makes me sad, that makes me want to do these videos, that makes me sad, that makes me sad. I could talk about this all day, it just, it hurts me. That, that actually hurts me. I'm not sitting there laughing, ha ha, dweeb, dork, look at you, your life sucks, my life's cool. No, I actually want that kid to do better, if he wants to. If he doesn't, that's just weird. If you're listening to my channel and you don't want to improve your life, I don't even know why you're listening to my channel. You're listening just for entertainment purposes. This isn't meant to be entertaining. This is meant to be helpful. This is meant to motivate you and push you. At least go to the gym, at least do something. It's Thursday, I've been to the gym three times already this week. Monday, Tuesday, and today. I missed the day Wednesday for rest because my muscles are hurting because I was pumping so damn heavy. Monday I did chest and triceps and abs. Tuesday I did back and biceps and abs. And today I did legs and shoulders and I didn't do any abs actually. I just did legs and shoulders and I did some lower back stuff. So, I busted the gym three times this week. I've been on phone calls all day, every day, trying to broker massive oil, oil deals worth millions of dollars from my beautiful home slash office over here in Miami South Beach, where the beach is just there. It's nighttime, so I can't show you right now. So, like, I'm living, you know what I mean? Like, I'm literally living, and so, and I'm, but I'm still going, I'm still doing it. I'm still doing it, I'm still hitting the gym. I'm still making healthy food, I just ate. Uh, chicken, tomato with garlic, like a nice organic piece of chicken breast, no skin, and three sweet potatoes in the oven that got roasted, put some feta cheese and, and, and paprika and black pepper on them, and that's why I ate for dinner. The last time I ate was, last, was yesterday, 24 hours ago. I basically fasted for like 19 hours, 18, 19 hours. Didn't eat any food for 18, 19 hours, you know? And still look like this. So there are techniques and there are people working hard and I'm the person working hard trying to deliver that news out to you because men are terrible with girls and men are just terrible in general these days. Just, you know, not, just, just not, I, I want you guys getting girls. I want you getting girls. I want you, I want you living a great life. Why is it just for me and you living a shit life? What kind of existence would that be? I don't feel comfortable with it. There's enough to go around. So, some of the things I've mentioned on this video, again, I want to keep these videos for 10 minutes. Some of the things I mentioned on this video, you can take with you. You know, I told you, gym three times a week, that's what I'm doing. The rest of it, with game and confidence, charisma, we're going to get to that, okay? We will get to that point. I want to help you every step of the damn way. I want you to be able to see me in action, in bars, in clubs, on the beach, on the street, anywhere, because I can do it anywhere. Airports, planes, wherever, I can talk to a woman anywhere. There's no holds bar on any of this stuff. So we've got to pick it up, guys. We've got to pick it up, man. Stop being so skeptical. And if you're not getting results, then you just admit you need help, and it's all good. And we do this together as brothers. We rise to the top.
Hope you enjoyed this one. I'm looking forward to making more and posting more. Peace.